Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't mind this crazy, crazy little look here. I've just been using the Revolution and Soap Super Spice Palette and I wanted to try as many of the neon bright shades as I could. So that's what this is all about here. Um, anyway, this is a haul. So it's an unexpected one. I was um, browsing the internet as you do and I came across a Huda Beauty sale and these, um, so I've got quite a few of these now. So this one is the Coral Obsessions. When I saw that it got released, I was never a fan of it. Um, but I have seen a few people do looks with it and it just looks like that and it really is beautiful. So I got this in the sale. Um, so it should have been £17, which has gone way down. I think that these ones are £25 and her newer ones are £27. Um, so it went way down and then I got an extra 15% off it as well. So it, it ended up costing me £14 plus postage. So I was really happy with that. Um, so yeah, I got like more than £10 knocked off. I actually saw this in TK Maxx but I didn't buy it. In TK Maxx it was £29.99 I think but it looked like it had an eyeshadow on it so I didn't get it and I didn't think I wanted it until I started watching people's videos. So this is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I will be doing swatches on these palettes. Um, so everyone knows what it looks like by now i am so late to the party so i didn't think i wanted this eyeshadow palette i thought i only wanted the huda beauty mercury retrograde but ever since i've had that in the collection i've been kind of looking at a bigger palettes i actually wouldn't mind the huda new nude now as well this is absolutely stunning and um, look at this that comes inside as well i'm gonna keep that Look at that, that comes inside. Um, so yeah, this is what she looks like. So I'd never really looked at the cut, I'd never really looked at the colour story properly. Um, I'd seen that it's got darker shades in it. That one's, uh, I could have done that though. That one's kind of got a dent in it. Um, I'd seen the colour story and it looked dark. It's actually not that dark. It's pretty neutral. So yeah, I want to do some swatches on this and just see what it looks like. Um, I have seen I have seen Charlotte Holdcroft. I don't know if you watch her, but she did 10 eyeshadow looks with this palette and they all were pretty simple, everyday, wearable, neutral looks for beginners really. And I thought that was, you know, really, really good. And it, I got to see the eyeshadows how they performed and that really sold it to me and obviously I got 30% knocked off this palette as well I think it ended up costing about £40 or just a little bit more than £40 um, and I know I could have got it at TK Maxx for £29.99 but it looked like the shadows were broken so yeah um, I thought I would get this I thought I would invest in this so now I've got two of her bigger ones and I think about six let me check <coughs> If you've seen my eyeshadow palette collection, how I reorganise my makeup, it's classed as a reorganisational video, then you will have seen these anyway, but I'll just quickly show you. So we've got the Huda Electric Obsessions. This was the first ever one I got. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, need to crack that out for the um, summer. I've got the Huda Beauty Gemstone Obsessions. That came broken, um, but I managed to salvage it. It looks a mess, guys. Um, but I like it, um, so there's that one. I've seen quite a few people declutter that one, I really like it. This one is one of my favourites as well, Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions. Are you surprised guys, it's full of greens. Um, so that's that one. And then this one, I'd say this one is the worst of the lot. Um, that might surprise some people. I just think it was a lacklustre. Um, it's a really, really good everyday nude palette. You could wear it for work, no problems. And when I go back to work, that'll probably be one of the eyeshadow palettes that I wear. Um, but yeah, um, it's not a favourite, guys. So it's the Huda Nude Light. Um, I actually prefer my Revolution Coffee... So Sorry. I actually prefer my I Heart Revolution Coffee Palette to this. And that was only £10. And this is £27. So yeah. Um, so I have got five now so that's them 
and then obviously I've got the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette so yeah we need to do swatches on that one um, so yeah I'm going to take you over to the vanity and so yeah that's my little haul guys I'm going to do these swatches in the next couple of videos so you will see them soon you probably already got them in the collection so you really don't need to see me doing swatches but it's for anyone that is late to the game like me and hasn't got them in their collection I thought they might want to see swatches and it's also good for me to look back on I say this when I do the Colourpop swatches just so I don't have to keep swatching and wasting product I can just go to the video and look um, at the palettes themselves and see if I want to use them for that shot my stash rotation or not um, um, so so yeah it benefits us all I think um, so yeah I'm gonna go and do the swatches of this little beauty first I think because I don't really know what the swatches look like whereas the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions I have seen them so we'll do this one first and then in the next video we'll put the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions up so guys that's my little haul I'm really really impressed I wouldn't have bought those products if I didn't get well the 30% off the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk I think it's called and then the um the extra 15% of the Coral Obsessions I wouldn't have got them um, just purely because I didn't think I needed them but yeah um, I'm glad to have them in the collection at such a discounted price thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel it means the absolute world to me please like it really does help out the channel share and comment and I will see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>